Hello, and this is Fabian Lim from Keyword Research Pro. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the major features of Keyword Research Pro. Starting with Keyword Brainstorming, you can choose to brainstorm keywords by simply clicking on the Brainstorm button. Obviously, you will need to be connected to the internet to use Keyword Research Pro. What Keyword Research Pro does is it fetches hot trending keywords from various sources for you to perform your keyword research. In Generate NLP Keywords, first select a language and then a country option if available. And this tool is useful for you to identify more long tail keywords. So for example, if you wanted to identify more long tail keywords for this keyword here, Marina Bay Residences, which is the name for condo, you can simply click on Get NLP and within seconds, Keyword Research Pro will return you keywords that were actually typed in Google and these keywords become useful for you to have in your body content to increase your keyword relevancy of your article. Another idea for using this tool is to compare two different products or services. In this example, I'm using Yama and comparing it with other similar tools. Within seconds, I get to know that there are people on the internet who are comparing Yama with Chatter, Jive, SharePoint, even Facebook, Podio, Socialcast, and the whole list goes on. So the trick here is to use a product keyword or a service keyword with a space and VS, VS standing for versus. So this is really a neat trick to compare two different products or services and to get ideas for your keyword research. At any point in time, you can choose to add your keywords to the basket on the right by clicking Add Selected to Basket. And if you wish to do any further keyword research on any of these keywords, you can select them and click Add. Now on to the Generates Keyword tab. To commence this process, First, ensure that you have input your login info for Google AdWords, both your username and password. It's important for you to know that without the Google AdWords login info, you will not be able to fetch keywords from the Google Keyword Tool. Generate keywords will require at least one keyword. Of course, you can import the basket from brainstorming or you can enter one seed keyword. Next, ensure that the Google box is checked. It is checked by default, by the way. I like to not use the synonyms feature. Select the appropriate language and country and click Generate Keywords. In a moment, Keyword Research Pro will log in to Google AdWords Keyword Tool on your behalf and fetch keywords in real time. This will not take more than two, if not at most three minutes. 
So once again, it's important to note that the keywords being fetched here are the same keywords that you would see if you were to log in to Google AdWords and use the Google AdWords Keyword Tool feature. Once this process is complete, it will auto stop and allow you to go to the next step, which is analyze keywords. For analyze keywords, all you need to do is to select the volume match type. I use Google Broad Match and optionally, if you require the average cost per click info for your PPC campaigns, you can check average cost per click. And all you need to do right now is to click on Start Analysis. Keyword Research Pro will now go out and fetch Google Competition, which is also the all-in title number, directly into the software. Let's look at the columns. Right now, we have Google Competition, which is the all-in title number for each keyword. Google Global Volume, in this case, Broad Match, taken from the Google AdWords Keyword Tool. Google Local Volume, based on the volume of the country selected earlier. Google Approximate Cost Per Click of the keyword. And the cost per click number is also a local cost per click number. Then you have KI3, which stands for Keyword Effectiveness Index 3. It is a calculation to identify effective keywords. In this case, it's based on the Google global volume versus competition. KI3 local refers to Keyword Effectiveness Index 3 local, and this number is computed based on the Google local volume and Google competition. A simple way to identify effective keywords is simply to click on the respective columns from high to low, and you immediately have a whole list of highly effective keywords for your SEO. If you are looking for long tail keywords with low competition, you can of course click on the Google competition column and be able to identify keywords from low all in title to high all in title. Now obviously you should do this only after Keyword Research Pro has completed fetching Google competition for every single keyword. But you can see here, you can now tell how effective the keywords are and how little the competition for some of these keywords are showing right now. The process has ended and you can truly see a whole bunch of keywords with all in title under a thousand even. Low all in title keywords are going to be easier to rank in the search engines. Finally, filter keywords. To begin this process, click Import Analyze Keywords, and you can do a number of things right now, which is, for example, to remove keywords that have less than four words, for example. Click on Run Filter on this, and you're able to filter keywords that at least have four words or more. You can also use the word filter to filter keywords that contain a particular word. In this case, for example, Singapore. And here are the list of keywords that contain Singapore. Finally, you can export your keyword research. You can export keywords basket, generate keywords, and analyze keywords in CSV and tap delimited format. This concludes the short demo video on Keyword Research Pro. Thank you.